All right, folks, doing uh, incline bench. Let me set up my other cameras before we get going on this. I always try and get, uh, you know, multiple camera angles. Um, that works. Maybe a few too many camera angles at times, but at the end of the day, I can make YouTube shorts out of some, and then, um, the other videos we can do that one. So, you know, between the um, portrait, landscape, it's all getting captured somehow. I got this new stand that has built in lights that are rechargeable. I don't know how long they they'll last for, but uh, you know, just kind of cool extra little feature. Alright, so I think we have all the cameras going. And I am just uh, getting warmed up still. Um, didn't, in a different video that I was working back, uh, we did a couple of warm-up sets in that video just to get ready for this. Yeah, it was so tight today. Uh, one thing, I did put a 25-pound bumper plate under this to maybe reduce the angle a little. Um, just because I feel like it's a bit more angled than I was hoping <laughs> it to be. So, a couple of the problems are getting the weight off the rack, as it feels like more of a military press off the rack. <laughs> and then pressing um, is hitting the shoulders more than I wanted. So, that's why we did that. Uh, I can stand to go up one more. I have yet to measure this to see if it's, you know, where it is between 30 and 45. Uh, it feels quite a bit more like, a, like it's 45 than it does 30. Even with me increasing this, but um, hard to get 30, I think, out of a, you know, if the commercial incline benches are really 30 degrees, I know there are some that I do, I'm able to lift more weight than on others. Make sure I'll put a weight belt on, I'll put some elbow sleeves on, and weight belt, elbow sleeves, we got our gloves with wrist support. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and put our weight belt on. So, I don't know. I was going to go to Plant Fitness today. I don't know if I'm going to go or not. I finally, I feel like I found a way to improve our viewership on this channel. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I don't think the, the wife will go for it, but, uh, wow, I had another, I've had this mount. It doesn't rotate, but, man, uh, the ones that rotate 90 degrees are the best. But the fact that I have this and I, it's just sitting on the ground over there, I think I, we, 
figure out something with this. We have way more camera mounts now than we need. So. But yeah, I, uh, I met this couple at the, the gym. Um, the guy, not, I don't think he's anywhere near as strong as me. Uh, his wife is like, might as well be Miss Fitness competitor. Um, they're interested in doing some YouTube videos. I just have to figure out how to work that, you know. Um, let's do let's do a set here. question is, uh, you know, when you have somebody ridiculously attractive in a, a video, and I mean, that's going to, that's definitely going to get more views. Um, maybe more watch hours if I did a long view workout. Um, and then, but there's the aspect of the wife not being happy about that. And then how do you not, how do you film somebody that dresses like in the tightest outfits in the world um, without it looking like a, what's the word, like you're trying to take advantage of the, that, you know, for the sake of views and stuff, but you want to have somebody really physically fit. If that was the intention, you know, this is more of a lifting heavy weight kind of thing. So maybe exclude, exclude this guy's wife and him. Uh, her husband and I just work out. <laughs> yeah. um, but I've thought about you know, that would be great to get them started on their own YouTube channel. They would, in a month, blow me completely away. And I would, I would expect in a month, 10,000 subscribers, 50,000 to 100 after three for them. And who knows, maybe they get to 100,000, 500,000, you know, a million. I look at some of the people that already have 100,000, 200, 500,000, the females, um, don't know what they're doing, and half the videos, they just look good. Where this person knows, looks like she knows what she's doing, um, and that could, you know, obviously make, make them quite popular. So. Then it'd be like, well, can I be your like social media manager, or your editor, or something? I'd like to get you know, a piece of that, right? Now, if I could, if I could do whatever the hell I wanted on this channel. Um, started chatting it up with people at the gym and said, hey, at least the athletic ones are, there's two ways to look at it. Go after the athletic ones or the, um, just the track ones or, you know, playing an athletic, attractive couple, single, whatever, doing workout videos with them. You know, maybe some of them want to get bulked up, muscle-wise. Um, definitely help with that here. But, I don't, uh, and it's too difficult to get that going, I think. One, I'd have to be a little more outgoing. 
two, I have to have permission and the wife would have to see that there's uh, there's positives in this whole thing. Like, oh, you're gonna have a lot of extra money. Um. That's kind of funny. I'd say that, and you know, you see people like Greg Doucette. He'll work out with the occasional female. And they might have good bodies, but it's like, man, facially just, ugh. So to find somebody that is hard, hard body and hard body knows what they're doing and facially attractive. That's like a bam. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes, folks. When I get back from my long, long trip away, I might have to invite them over to the Weight Slayer gym and see if uh, a couple things could happen um, after I expand. They could use it to get their own channel going. Um, you know, if I clean this place up, it would be better. But mutually helping each other somehow and then from there you know of course do videos at the Planet Fitness or whatever but um, this is obviously a lot more controlled you don't have to worry about people griping about being in the video you can like set up as many cameras as I want I can get any angle um, so all that I have to do is you know, all I really have to do is, is bring on the USB thumb drive and take the video footage with them. yesterday which was freaking ridiculously heavy um, my elbow that's already bugging me is bugging me worse today so it may not be a tricep workout this week not sure <sighs> all right uh, so we'll try 225 just so I can get the support. Right now I need it. <sighs> yeah, so a bit, a bit obsessed with how to make this channel better. I almost feel like a maybe a hybrid channel might have been better. Than just doing, uh, than just doing fitness lifting. I don't know if we call this fitness. We can just call it powerlifting, uh, unboxing, shit like that, right? So maybe uh, I saw one guy's channel that guy always works out shirtless. He's in you know decent shape, but I want to look at him shirtless. Might be one of those channels for gay men. No, I'm not into that shit, so uh, you know, gay guys can watch me whatever, I don't care. But uh, the reality is um, he does guitar and working out. So occasionally there's a him jamming on a guitar. Better, probably better guitar player than I am. 
So that, that's kind of his crossover, right? Uh, we have these two cats that I've got another channel that's about 50% them. And then sometimes I'll do sports highlights, but that channel got 500 subscribers basically back to back months. Now it's 1080. Or this one's at, I don't know, 831, 830 something, maybe 840. Uh, some of these videos are more popular than others. And if I could figure out the key, which I should if I just open up every video and look at the subscribers and how I got them, because, uh, you know, certain ones I could delete, re-upload. We could, uh, I don't know if that counts as reuse, right? If it shows up in multiple places, it's definitely used. I'm not sure. I'd have to understand that better. If reuse is a using the same video um, multiple times on the same channel, mm -hmm. then that could be a problem. A lot of people are guilty of that. But I have this. <laughs> I have this one guitar video. Well, actually, six guitar videos. Every time I upload them, they're pretty much guaranteed to get anywhere from 3,000 to 7,000 views, short views. So using it on a monetized channel, that's great, right? You every so many weeks put that out. It also gets a lot of subscribers. Um, and then I have a couple of guitar videos that I personally did. You know, so I shot those, but I didn't. I wasn't a guitar player. The ones that get all the views because the guitar player is a lot better. But um, you know, I've picked up a ton of subscribers from there, like several hundred just from you know releasing that deleting it releasing it again and I you know I really need more videos and to be able to say hey if you like this one you know pull up the old the old stuff so they keep watching the old stuff so it keeps going um, and eventually you have quite a collection of those videos and people are like wow um, this is good stuff. So, but the, that guitar player, he lives like 500 miles away. And he has his own channel, but he doesn't do guitar stuff on it. I, I need to convince him he needs to do guitar stuff or, or hire him as a part time employee, right? Get me some. Give me more views, give me more subscribers. But there's such a difference between our two uh, guitar playing abilities that it's almost not even something I could consider. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we got 225 on here. Normally I get 8 to 10, you know, with the pain I'm feeling. Elbow, shoulders. I don't know if they're going to get that many. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> heavy today it looks like. I'm gonna put a one two back on there and we'll we'll do another set when we come back down. Yeah, boy. Oh, yep. So I'm trying to get the the channel channel popping. It's uh takes a lot of effort. I've noticed some of my compadres they have videos with more views. Um you know maybe because of the amount of weight they're lifting. 
maybe uh, more subscribers. Different reasons. You know. There's a lot of, I'm finding there's a lot of home gym worker outers or people that go to the Y and make videos. Um, always willing to support more people. It's just hard to probably have to figure out, okay, I can support, you know, five people, ten people. I can't really support a hundred other people. But if you're able to support a hundred people, um, that's going to make your channel definitely do better. That assumes those people don't just look at the video, leave a comment, and a like, you know, like a YouTube short. If it's too short, you pretty much have to, I think, watch it multiple times <laughs> for it to count for anything. If it's 60 seconds, you might have to watch it for 30 seconds. Um, I can do my own experimentation and figure out exactly what the algorithm is. I think I'm smart enough. Um, and you could, you can basically set an email or make a video of a certain length, put it done listed, send an email to another account, uh, or maybe you have 10 accounts. So if you had a 60 second video, you have all 10 other, if you had 10 other YouTube uh, channels, let's say, have them watch them in, let's see, 10 goes into 66 seconds. So have 10 people basically watch it in six second increments. So Watch for 6 seconds, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Uh, and then everybody hits like, everybody leaves a comment. All right. Now, later when you look at the views, you can figure out mathematically out of those 10, if it only had 8 views, then if you only watched it for 6 seconds, it didn't count. If you watched it for 12, it didn't count, but 18 and up, right? Do the same thing for 30 seconds, but you do 3 second increments. You could figure out their algorithm. Now, would they ban a video like that? They might, um, because they wouldn't want the world to know how to get around certain things. Um, so, if you were to do that experiment yourself, okay, what you could also find is what is the best length of video, right? So I've noticed sometimes a six second stupid video um, of me just showing some food, like that I'm eating at a restaurant. Just doing that, folks, I can get 3,000 views. Uh, it took very little effort. I could make 10 of those videos and release those at different times and get 30,000 views. But if I shot a 60 second video, I'd be lucky if I got 1,000 views. And I'd only get those one time, right? So, if you have multiple multiple videos of the same thing, that doesn't count as reuse. But if it's the exact video and you reuse it, um, and on your channel or other channels, and let's say you haven't deleted it, then it's definitely reuse. I will tell you that from personal experience. I got, I might have got dinged on that one. Um, wow, these things, uh, 
actually bought more 10 pounders because they don't all, I think they're all going to fit on these. Yeah, that's a little tight. I'm going to put those two on there. I'll put these on there. So, we trip. Oh, okay. Sorry for the delay. Okay. Now. Yeah, I have so many video ideas I want to do today. How many of them will actually get views? That is another story. And some of it's going to be seem kind of repetitive, but I've got two different size 45 standards. I'm curious if those will be the same. Matter of fact, in between, while we're waiting, I'm not. I'm not recovered. Let's uh let me bring my new my new toy over folks. So the negative of this new toy, the screen, does not work so great. Um, you have to be looking at it directly. Otherwise you can't see squat. And that's right, him on the carpet's not a good thing either. So, we move it, now we got to reset it. <laughs> and is it safe to pounds? Does it save to anything? Okay, I'm going to step on my scale. Put my tennis shoes on. Wow, it says 265. That is way lighter than the scale upstairs. Uh, let me throw a microwave on there. Oh, now it's, for some reason, it's not zeroing out. So I have these microwaves, right? And they're pretty close to exact. Uh, one pounder. Let me throw that on there. Says 0.7 pounds. Put another one on here. Says 1.3. Put a half or a three quarter. Yeah, this is not, not working for low weights, unfortunately. Um, we may have to send the scale back because it's just not very accurate. Alright, let's find a let's find a 25 powder. Yeah, that's a bummer if this thing's not accurate because I really oh, 26.2? What? Really? Alright, let's try this again. Zero it out. 25 pound plate, 24.8 pounds. So it does matter, I think, if the it's got to be on a completely level concrete, maybe? <laughs> 24.8. And that was not really nice of me to drop it like that. Well, let's do the second 25, and then we'll get back on this. Twenty-four point nine. So, what I had found from my other videos is that the cap five pounders are all over five pounds using better scale. Um, so let me let me drop one of these on here real quick. This might not be heavy enough for really. I should get exactly five. Wow first time for that. And then this this weighed less than five pounds earlier. 4.6. So um interesting. Alright. This may be the last set folks. Um I don't know. I might do I might do a This is 230. Maybe we'll do 
two or something if we can get nine of these. Or if I can get eight, I should say. I'm trying to keep my rep numbers higher. And we could do it, not the slingshot, but uh, same ones. So, I'm going to shut down this camera, assuming I'm not going to do any more. I might do more, but I'm going to screw around a little bit, I think. So, it's now 11. A bit late to go. I'm going to now. I would waste an hour, almost an hour, just getting back and forth. There's really no reason to go there except do abs. And some cardio. <laughs> so, how much energy that took out of me. I think if we do incline here at the, the home gym next week we'll we'll do uh we'll do this in the um, what's the word? We'll do the power cage. Alright. So in between sets folks I think I'm gonna make some YouTube short videos. And, of course, this little gizmo is cool, but it just popped off. No surprise. I think we'll do, we'll do a little video here, see if I can do this fast enough. Uh. All right, folks, this video is going to weigh some cap plates and uh, let you guys see how much they actually weigh. 2.5 says weighs 2.6. Another 2.5 says that one weighs 2.5. 5 pounder, 5.1. Another 5 pounder, 5.0. So uh, some variation there. Here's a 25 pounder. 24.8. So the good news is those ones that were over, if you use that 25 pounder, puts you right back on the number. Here's a 45, and that says 45.6. So almost uh, a half pound greater. Throw another 
45 on there because that should add up to 90. And it's over. <laughs> All right, folks, threw a second 45 on there. Should add up to 90. That is up to 91.6. Now, of course, there's going to be fluctuation in here, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to put that directly. So I'll probably, I'll do this video again. Maybe we'll do a longer, longer version of it. Ah! I think I'll do one more set, folks, but we'll put a five on there. I'll put a VTM five, because I'm going to use the caps down here on the floor. I'm going to reshoot this video um, so that I've got it, or slightly, slightly variation of this video, but it can't count as videos. So if I weigh all these, we can send scale back, right? <laughs> I'm going to grab some fat dumbbells. Grab a 15 pounder. What the hell? These are actually probably easier to take on and off. And then, so that video is uploaded. Now we can just go in and delete it on the phone. I'll do a 15 and a 30. I should do a long, a long version of this. I'll do a long version for the Weights Later channel. Yeah, because we need watch hours. All right, folks, this video, we're weighing a bunch of different cap Olympic plates and a couple of dumbbells, just so you guys can see. Now, I'm not saying that the, uh, the scale is perfect. Uh, we did put some weights on here that 
guaranteed, you know, exact poundages. Um, and we've used the weights, the uh, postal scale, which is really accurate. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to start popping different weights on here. There's a 2.5. says it weighs exactly 2.5, so that's great. There's a 5. And you will get some variance on the scale. I'm not putting it in the center, but that one says 5.1. So some of these we have seen as much as 0 0.1, 0 0.2 over on another scale. 2.6, so that one's a little heavier. 2.5, and I do have 45s, and we'll put a 25 pounder on there. It's another 5. This is 5.2. So that's a bit, we bit over 5.1. Another five. That one's exactly 5.0. It's a big problem on there, folks. Let's put a 25er on there. Not to be gentle, I think we've got these on here. 24.7. Oops. And let's throw a 45 on there. 45.7. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this instead of throwing it on the ground. Uh, I'm going to bring. Have I done any 10s yet? Let's grab, I'm going to grab a couple 10 pound, 10 pounders and we'll do another 45 here. I actually have four 45ers we could use, but we haven't done any 10s, so let's do 10s. 10.1. 10.2. 10.3. 10.4. 10.5. 10.6. 10.7. 10.8. 10.9. 10.10. 10.11. 10.12. 10.13. 10.14. 10.15. 10.16. 10.17. 10.18. 10.19.
taking the weight off, but we're on your reps. And you might, you might blame, you know, an injury, you might blame something else, but it could be in actuality the bar. What's the weight in the on the bar uh, is off. So, I have a couple of five pound plates that actually weigh four pounds. So you could find yourself, if you had three 45s and a five on there, and your 45s are a pound less, so they're 44, and on the other side are 46 pounders, um, you'd have a difference of six pounds. And then you throw a, f a four pound five and a five pound five, um, then you're talking here, you know, well, a six pound five, let's say, if there is such a thing. There's definitely a four pound five. Uh, but you could find yourself with a differential of eight pounds. And just, you just randomly, what are the odds though that you will end up with that? That's kind of ridiculous in the fact that I'm even bringing it up. But being an engineer, it is good to weigh your weights and have an idea. So we'll do one of these videos, we'll just compare all the 45s I have. I'm going to compare all the bumper plates and then we'll, uh, we'll have a good idea of the variation. Alright folks, I got one set left in me I think. So we're going to do Saewon's bench sling on this one. This thing some used to be good for 10%, about 8 to 10% uh, performance boost, I like to call it. But, uh, you know, really it helps the shoulders. And right now my shoulder is actually bugging the shit out of me. So um, I think it's a good time to, to do this. I don't feel like I'm done with lifting for the day, but I do want to get some more reps in. So yeah, this was, I think, 15, 20 bucks, Amazon. It's pretty much worn out. I might have got more out of it when it was younger or newer, and now, not so much. So before this video, I went around and weighed a bunch of my different plates. All right, so you can see with this, it's real easy to flex. Um, not getting as much for sure, <sighs> but it will help a shoulder that nags you. All right, so I've done almost 30 reps of 225 with this on, but there's no way it's capable of doing it now for me. <laughs> Alright, I think that's enough. Thanks for checking out my video, folks. Shall we do a pump check? Pump check on the main camera. So, triple view. You guys miss out on the check. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be tough to the shoulders tomorrow. I'm going to have to start doing, I think, some rotator cuff stuff. I know the exact person to give me a demonstration. <laughs> 